Every real cowboy like myself knows how lonely it is out on the open range, which is why I listen to the Cowboy Boys Podcast. With best contractually obligated friends, Shane Smith and Mac Arthur, the Cowboy Boys will comfort your soul better than any disease-ridden saloon gal ever could. Cowboy Boys. Don't fall because you're still eating and chewing. No, let me chew in the mic. Don't chew in the mic. I'm doing it. I'm going to chew in the mic the, in the middle of the episode. Make you have to look for it or leave it. No, you won't edit it. I'm not editing it out. That's what I'm saying, so I'm going to chew. Um, now watch this. I'm going to drink. <laughs> <laughs> ASMR, baby. Uh, welcome to Cowboy Boys. Do you know what number we're on? No. Is it 41? It's 40. Oh, shit. I was so close, dude. That was a wild guess, dude. Welcome to Cowboy Boys, episode 40, where I've already named the episode. Did you? Yeah, we jumped the shark. Oh, we did? (laughs) This is... Hell yeah. This is as good as it ever got. It's all downhill from here, baby. Hell yeah. I'm with it. Let's go. Downhill is easier to do. Oh, yeah. So much. We got momentum. We don't even have to try. We just show up. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, How are you? How was your... Are you, how's your um, mental health? <laughs> Terrible. <It's> fucking, <laughs> what a question. <laughs> you're not what going, a question. You're not going stir crazy? What a No, I'm not going stir crazy. I'm just very I'm just full of grief and sadness and general sense of malaise. No, that's not what I wanted to ask. Dude, <laughs> I was hoping you'd be like, I'm crazy from staying inside. No, I love it. I'm actually literally dreading when it's over. I feel you there. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking um there's all the conspiracies that the coronavirus isn't real that the deaths are made up and the yeah. numbers and mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. the part of my conspiracy brain are like i, I actually don't know if anyone's dead I like, do i know <laughs> are those are those people that the government did the government make up friends to tell me that their uncle died <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> they make so up friends for you that's my schizophrenia paranoia brain active but then the other side of me is like I don't care. I got twelve hundred dollars, and there's I stay inside playing forty hours of video games this week. <laughs> like I, I put the pr- put the chip in my brain, give me all the inoculations, track wherever I want. If I can stay inside for forty hours of a week playing video games, what, what was the thing earlier we were talking about the chip just off off mic? And both of us last night in the middle of the night were like. Well, both of us at the same time were like, we don't even want freedom. And I was like, you don't want it either? And you were like, no. What? Are, both of us at the same time were like, what are we going to do with freedom? Just get our hearts broken? <laughs> yeah, I used to be a freedom fighter Dude. back in my 20s when I was a young lad. But now I'm just like, I don't care anymore. That was I have a, nothing to fight for. <laughs> such a funny take for us both to have at the same time. Sort of left field. Both of us just like, I don't even fuck my freedom. What am I just going to get hurt? Yeah. I'm not about it, man. Fuck it. I mean, video games are pretty cool. How many hours have you clocked this? Dude, I, so I've been playing Valorant, and I've been doing an aim trainer for an hour a day or Damn, more. That's your new job. I know. So I, I was like, man, I suck dick at Valorant. I'm terrible. But I forgot that there's a skill-based matchmaking system. So I went to play Battlefield today just for fun to, like, take a break from Valorant. And I was like in aim got like i could clearly see the difference in my aiming like i was fucking people up and i was like holy shit practice actually made me better like it is funny how those old games we played when we we're 16 like the hardcore games yeah. that were, you never got really good at counter-strike and whatever nowadays you're just they still carry over yeah to where i think that's why fortnite's so popular is you don't have to aim as much as build your lego land so much up yeah it's true fortnite is way more about everything but aiming i wonder if kids are angry game (laughs) i wonder how much like people are angry that all the all of us old heads are invading video games again no dude (laughs) (laughs) the counter strikes full of kids just Mm -hmm. being like (laughs) <laughs> like o- only saying ageist things it's really funny uh, I got, shut up some, boomer dude some kid <laughs> called me a boomer yesterday <laughs> he was all fuck you boomer he said it into the mic i was like dude whatever i fucked your mom yeah it's funny because i've never felt ageist before <laughs> until <laughs> dude until they started bringing it to when us. you're up when you're on a video game and someone's like why are you so bad and i'm like I, i'm doing all right <laughs> <laughs> just can't build as well 
Yeah, anyways. dude, it's so video funny. Game, video games rule. Who they needs, do. Who needs love and appreciation? <laughs> Not me. I'm so excited to start my Valorant team. I bought. I literally went online and f- made jerseys. Did we're gonna go to gaming con? If I wish Andrew Yang would have won and give us our thousand dollars a month, so I could just plug into a VR headset and never leave. I would never take off the VR. I would pay someone to. Some of my thousand bucks would pay someone to come over once a week and like sponge me down <laughs> <laughs> while I sleep with the just headset with the on. Headset on, never take it off. Yeah, hell Not yeah. Rule. Just have like a weird feeding mush hooked up <laughs> just clipping your fingernails while uh, <laughs> while you do it um oh yeah well how do you just everything you have to poop with the headset on i think isn't that just like hospice care <laughs> no wait you're is shitting that, yourself is that what it's hospice called hospice is when you're taking care of someone as they're dying yeah yeah that's me <laughs> i have the vr headset <laughs> and it just take 50 years to die <laughs> oh I, th- I was thinking more along the lines of like you're an invalid yeah i'm not my body my mind is in a different world <laughs> my body has stopped functioning in this world i guess you would still be moving around oh, i can't wait for the future it's gonna rule dude i mean it is gonna be cool when we're old men and we can just plug into the matrix the machines can have me at that point <laughs> yeah I'm the, fuck it dude i'm cypher i'm How like you? i don't care if the steak is fake i want the, i want the tasty fake steak <laughs> <laughs> yeah for real dude i don't just imagine all the cool stuff you could be doing as an old man in the matrix um you can fly and you just like just telling the machine specifically just like make my dick work i don't care what else (laughs) just like make sure it works i'll figure the rest out the matrix um zion kind of sucks all they do there is dance and fuck yeah well no hold on (laughs) no 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 it sucks if that's all they did it would be fucking awesome if they were just having the rave orgies the rave orgy was like something they don't normally do because the machines will hear them remember oh really yeah i think that they do it and they're just like let the machines hear us fucking (laughs) (laughs) the machines are hearing it like oh i remember watching oh the matrix was so good 1999 best year for movies ever and then the second matrix come out where everyone was so hyped and it was my um like right during that dance orgy scene where i'm like this kind of sucks this movie has lost its way but then the highway scene happens and you're like oh this is cool again dude i think all three of them are fucking awesome but well, yeah the you first are one brain is dead 10 10. <laughs> i mean yeah a little bit uh, but i mean Dude, I remember when watching The Matrix, like, for the fifth time, and finally realizing that Zion keeps getting killed over and over again. I only thought the people in The Matrix were getting reset, but the machines were resetting actual humanity. Yeah. It, and the, I didn't the, realize that till way later. I was like, no! It, it's because the movie becomes so convoluted uh, yeah, and stupid it, it after the insane. orgy scene. Yeah, when, and then they, Neo they're, they're, is Jesus. And, they're bringing it back. Yeah, I know. For a TV show, so. Uh, no, for the, they're doing a fourth movie, and it comes out when John Wick 4 comes out what yeah <laughs> wow keanu's still killing it dude he fucking crushes john wick is better than the matrix though can we just agree on that well when you have one god tier movie and two stinkers and you release three pretty good movies that's going to be a better trilogy three god tier movies all right <laughs> okay you would you would trade you'd rather all right you'd rather have john wick and versus the matrix oh fuck no the matrix is better than john wick that's what i'm but saying the first matrix is only moderately better than j- each john wick but each john wick is only moderately worse than the first matrix i like that you disagreed to agree with me yes <laughs> with what i just said yes all right so anyway the conclusion of all of this is that we've been inside damn we are for weeks just playing talking video about games old movies <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude oh no we're doing boomer stuff yeah Oh those. god damn. Uh so how do you feel about spelunking? <laughs> not good. <laughs> Everyone Mac fucked me up and gave me nightmares for real, not a joke at all. Uh real nightmares? No, for real. Did you have No, I didn't have a nightmare, but I've been having anxiety. The other night, of that I, video? yeah, yeah. The other night, I was like, kind of going to sleep, and then all of a sudden, my body was like, "You're trapped in a cave," and I was like, ah, ah, and I like woke myself up. Um, I'm awake right now. I haven't slept for 27 hours because of that cave fear. Because of the cave fear, Is it also just... the crippling loneliness. <laughs> would you be? Would, would... 
So are you just scared of caves in general, or was it that video I showed? No, it's not caves in general because I've done a lot of cave. Like I've gone into an abandoned mine. I love. I've definitely jumped into a cave. I love caves. Caves are fun. What I don't like is that specific scenario. Okay, for anyone uh, who wants to get scared <laughs> like shitless, the creepiest thing I've found online. This is a oh, real life event. It it's called the Nutty Putty Cave. And you should go if you want some true nightmare fuel about a guy getting trapped in a cave upside down. It's in Utah, our hometown, right? I wonder how close Nutty Putty is to Fillmore. I don't know. So any, my thing about caves is caves are fun. I'm not afraid of the dark. I'm not afraid of going underground. Caves are fucking awesome. But caves are only cool when you have enough room to turn around. Yeah. no. There's... As long as you're not crawling, caves are fucking dope. Like, I'll get into any cave, is no matter how deep, like, I'm down to explore a cave. But this guy went into, like, this crease where well, it's so small that he could barely inch forward using his fingers to help him pull. No, you don't use your fingers. He just, like, slides down. No, so dude. what happens is you have both your arms, like, to your side. You breathe out all the air in your oh lungs to, like, snail scoot forward. It's so fucking stupid. Like, why would you even want to go in a space that small? What if it, What if it's comfy to them? Oh, like, it's, it's... Feel, feel like how comfy... You know how, like, a weighted blanket feels good on you? Yeah. Imagine the entire earth crushing you. Dude. Doesn't so that anyway, sound feel appealing a little bit? This is so <laughs> scary. It's legit, like, one of the scariest things I can think of. So he, he gets trapped that... <laughs> with his arms pinned, one arm pinned up and one arm pinned down. Yeah. He had to, like, and he stopped. And so... It's like a little thing that snakes down, and so he's facing down. Well, what happened is he thought he was going one way, and in the <laughs> fun part about caves in the dark, he got turned around and went down the other way. Oh, so dude. he's like, oh, I can turn around. I just got to go through this really skinny part, and then there's an opening. But there wasn't an opening. So he's just going down this skinny, perfectly person-sized tube. Uh, like upside down, or I guess, yeah, he's upside down, just going down into the earth, and yep. then he gets stuck. <laughs> Dude, and he was stuck as fuck. They could not get him out, and then he started to go crazy, because you can't be upside down that long, and it seems very painful. But just imagine how claustrophobic you would be if you were completely stuck... With one arm above one, like, dude, oh, just thinking about it. And they tried to get him out for, like, a whole day and a half. Did and I then mean? eventually he just died down there. Spoiler alert. <laughs> yeah, and then they fucking left him because they couldn't even get his body out. They were just like, it's too much to even get his body. So they just fucking, they were like, this is your tomb now. And they just fucking boarded that shit up. If this is giving you anxiety, go watch YouTube documentaries about that. Dude. And then if that doesn't get, like... What's funny is those don't the video we watched that doesn't even get into like how crazy and painful oh, and dude it's so just wild. insane him getting stuck inside was what a cool guy if I was in that situation I would just be like bring me a gun and fucking shoot me in the head I don't think they could sneak shoot a... me in the butthole dude until <laughs> I, I die think they wouldn't be able to like get a gun past you <laughs> dude they wouldn't it would this space is so small that to get him water. They poured water on his back, hoping it would trickle down to his mouth. Oh, that's so gross. wild. Think dude. of your butt, your butt sweat water. Oh, dude. <laughs> that's what you have to survive on. What if I mean, yeah, my own butt sweat water. That's gross. I wonder how many how much girl butt sweat I've had in my mouth. What if you were trapped in a cave? underneath a girl <laughs> I don't know, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to think of the weird it, it's funny do you, when you were like a little kid would you come up with like the most insane like i'm talking when i was 12 and 13 i'd be like all right so uh i'm in a cave and there my crush is there and yeah uh it's really hot and hot and sweaty in the cave, so we have to take all of our clothes off. And then the lights go out, so we have to get close together to not to like <laughs> so we don't lose each other in the cave. The crazy hypotheticals, dude. You're giving my me brain. flashbacks, <laughs> dude. All the dude. Honestly, I still have them to this day. I'll just have a crush on a girl on Twitter, and I'll be like, "What if she DMs me <laughs> that she has nowhere to go during quarantine, and she comes here, and then there's a riot, and I have to save her from the airport?" Like <laughs> your mind is like going through all That's the, the only way I. 
I can jack off. <laughs> Dude, as I if swear my... <laughs> to God, I jack off to those scenarios too. If it, if it's just like, oh yeah, she's naked and she's hot, I'm like, ah, where's the where's the artistry? Dude, I'm, where's the... Dude, I'm straight up there. Every scenario, I'm the rock and I'm saving her from disaster, <laughs> fighting All off right. looters. She's stuck in a she's stuck upside down in a hole. And I have to take off her clothes, but she's still stuck. So then we, I have all this baby oil. <laughs> that, Dude, do, you con- <laughs> do you continue the fantasies later? It's like, I save her from everything. And then we're together. And then we decide to take a vacation because of how stressful that was. The terrorists hijacked wait, the plane. So wait, after you come, you continue with the fantasy? Yeah. You like, I, you, like no, you have to wrap up the story? I'm not kidding. <laughs> I'll, 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 th- no, here's what happens. I think of the fantasy. I'll be playing video games and I'll be daydreaming about the girl, right? <laughs> So you wait, you come up with pre-stories yes, yes. for later. No, I daydream the story <laughs> to the point of sex. And I'm like, oh, got to the sex part. Pause video game. Pull out dick. <laughs> flap, pat, 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 pat. Come. Think about it. And then I go, okay. And I play video games. And then later I put on some music and I'm walking to the store or whatever. And the music is like epic. And then I'm like, oh, yeah, I forgot about when I saved what's her name from the looters. (laughs) And then I continue the fantasy as for like a movie until I get to the next part where we fuck. Oh, the credits don't roll in your imaginations. The credits never roll. There's no. (laughs) They just go until I meet a new girl. And I swear to God, I will kill off the old one. (laughs) My not fantasy? you, but the no, fantasy. No, 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 not me. The fantasy. She'll yeah, like yeah. die, James Bond style, or she'll betray me. Oh, it's funny how I have to. I have a roll, dude. I've been rolling fantasies over each other since I was twelve. So wait, is it one continuous story? Yeah. And then the, do like do it's people, my life, dog. Is it like comic books where some of these girls come back from the dead yeah. <laughs> unexplicably? Sometimes you fuck your ex, and then you're like. I, I'm a scientist now, and I, I created a, the anti-death vaccine, <laughs> and I, I give I gave it to her before she died. But the, so then she, <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. So we're in this cave. <laughs> Some of these girls aren't even real; they're fake. What? Yeah, you've never like no, had it. You've never like thrown Faye Valentine into a sex fantasy before. Oh, you're talking about anime girls. Uh, t- I'm talking about whoever. When you say Dude, f- I've, when I've you're fucked s- everyone in the cast of Game of Thrones <laughs> that's legal, bro. In your fantasy? It's sure. Oh, Daenerys Stormborn, I just save her, and she's like, oh, my God, you're so strong. And I'm like, I know, right? Isn't it crazy? And her dragons love me. And she's like, Wait. wow, the dragons like you. Because, you know, when you go to a girl's house and their dog likes you, yes. and dogs are stupid, and I brought meat in my pocket anyway, so oh. the dog liked me. And nice, so she's like, nice joke. I know. Well, <laughs> it would be, is it a joke, or have I really done it, Mac? <laughs> yeah. And so then the girl's like, oh, my God, dogs like you. And it's like, firstly, dogs have no sixth sense. The Nazis use dogs at concentration camps. Dogs have no morals. I think dogs see the good in people, even Nazis. (laughs) They know deep down inside. uh, Dogs have no moral compass and cannot. They have no sixth sense. That's a total fucking lie. No. Dogs are loyal to evil people. Yeah, because those people. Are the dogs evil then? That's their whole world. (laughs) They don't know any better. That's what I'm saying. So why the dogs the are dog, not evil. The dogs are pure. Why would the dog ever sense someone's evil if they can't sense their own owner's evil? No, they their their world is so small that they don't have the big picture. So they're like, you know what, this guy, uh, he he might hit me, but he feeds me, and I like that, and so he makes me bite. No, he doesn't. He, he's nice to the dog, but he yeah, so skins good, women alive. That's the good part. The dog doesn't care about. All his that's baggage. What, yours, he doesn't he, care about his literal skeletons in a closet. You're not, he just likes the guy. But that means that, but that just means the dog has no barometer for what's evil or not. Yeah, I'm saying the dog doesn't have a big picture, but on a base, on a person to person, dogs are more pure than us. No, that's not purity. That's stupidity, Mac. Same thing. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Wait. I could just hear people on the other end of this listening to me like, "Well, my dog can sense when people are bad. He did it once. No, he didn't." So anyway. You know, you go to a girl's house and the dogs over, and then so the dragons are like. Rrr. But the dogs like you when they come over. Yeah, I mean, they, listen, they dogs sense, love me. They sense even though you've done bad things, they can sense your good core, dude. Honestly, <laughs> I think dogs respect me because I've done bad things. They know. What if they sense they both? They see in my eyes, and they're like, "Oh fuck, <laughs> cool, they, he's they, one of us." They I, see you. They're like, "Oh, he he could." He could. He has the. He has the alpha, like <laughs> <laughs> the alpha wolf in him. But also, he's a good. He's a good leader. <laughs> so uh, anyway, yeah, I uh, fucking wait. Can we go back to you said 
I want to fuck every Game of Thrones character that's legal. Like, there's an age of consent in the Game of Thrones universe. Certainly, there's not. <laughs> but there's a game. There's an age of consent in my fantasies. Arya season eight, yes. Arya seasons one through seven, gotta chill out on it. I never. I don't know any of the characters. Is that <laughs> just the girl? Except that what I'm saying is real. All, all I just know is that as fucked up as that series is supposed to be, I guarantee there's more. There's probably kid sex in that in that, fa- in oh, that in fantasy the book? book. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There is. There you go. The main character, one of the main characters, is 12 years old when she gets married. Or 13. <sighs> um, th- this leads right into my dreams. Oh. Um. Y- you want to know how much of a paladin I am in my dreams? Yes. I constantly. I told you about this dream I had the other day where this girl was like. Where I'm at like a, I'm dreaming that I'm like at a house party or something and it's raging and this girl's like, Hey, uh, like you know, in just sex dreams where that you can just tell, like, oh, let's let's go get it, let's go to this room and have sex and it's a fantasy, anything can happen. And I'm like, All right, one thing, let me just clean up this table real quick at this Jesus party and I start Christ. picking up trash at this house party in my dream <laughs> and you know how it, you just like are dreaming and then whatever just happened is already gone yeah so now that's gone and i'm just picking up trash and i'm like trying to uh, i'm picking up trash and cleaning up for the rest of my dream then i wake up and i'm like why was i god damn it <laughs> <laughs> you wasted your dream cleaning instead of fucking i can't fuck on the trash dude that's what i would have done in my dream and see i'm just i'm too pure even in my dreams you it dogs. really it really bums me out like how i want to be a bad guy but even in my deep soul i can't be bad at Damn. my dreams see i'm a lovable rascal in my dreams oh yeah yeah not unlike real life no i want to be conan the barbarian in my dreams i want to be like <laughs> you want to hear the lamentations wanna, of the women i want to fuck on a pile of skulls Dude. i want to i want to kill people i want to just do everything my it's dreams there's no morality in your dreams no, i'm with you man fuck and then it. for some reason I'm picking up trash. I'm <laughs> I'm teaching children how to read. I'm donating time to like the elderly. <laughs> I, I, and I'm just like, I just want to fuck up my dreams. <laughs> Dude, so I've never had a wet dream before in my life. Really? They're pretty fun. Not one. So I've had they suck when you wake up. <laughs> I've, I've, I've woken. I've been getting like my dick sucked in a dream and you know how like when you have a wet dream i i'm assuming oh yeah did you just expose well, yourself as a no, liar no, no no i didn't have a wet dream <laughs> but you can feel like you're just like yeah, fuck yeah. this rules and then i will wake up like rock fucking solid like i'll just be i'll wake up like confused like was i actually having sex and then i'll realize like no i'm as alone as i've ever been i should kill myself <laughs> and so i'm like damn but once i was having here's this the, was this year here's the thing when you have a wet dream so it's funny. This is so when you have sex and yeah. afterwards, I feel like, oh yeah, I feel good. I don't feel whatever. And then when you masturbate and you come, you feel like, oh, I feel like shit. Whatever. It's the opposite for me. No, in a wet dream, you get the like having sex feeling. You don't feel the guilt. Or no, I, guilt. I, I only feel the guilt when I have sex, not when I masturbate. Okay, but I'm talking about me. When I have a wet dream, you should not come until you have a wet <laughs> oh, dream. Oh, okay. To figure out I don't have the like I masturbate it. It's the whatever part of my brain is like, we're gonna count that one. You got laid. And I'm just like, yes. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> I, dude. I get I get the endorphins and the good the pat on the back from God. Oh, dude, that's so cool. Good for you. So this year I was like, <laughs> I wanna have a wet dream so bad. So I didn't fap forever. Remember I was telling you I was doing no fap for a minute? Yeah, you did like a month. Yeah, dude. It was crazy. So that was so horny, dude. So I was having this crazy dream, and I was getting my dick sucked. I don't remember who was sucking my dick, but it was awesome as fuck. It was someone really random, like Zoe Deschanel. Just there sucking my dick. I was like, whoa, this is so Like cool. a celebrity? Yeah, yeah, All yeah. Right. So she's sucking my dick. I was like, I can't believe this is happening. And then I was like, Shane, you're dreaming. And then I was like, who gives a fuck? And I could – you know when you are kind of know you're dreaming? Like you're in that in-between? Yeah. And I was like – but I could still feel it. So I was like, this is the best ever. I'm so just you, awakened up that I – You became lucid dreaming. I'm lucid dreaming a blowjob. So I'm like, this is the best thing that's ever happened to me because I'm just awake enough to enjoy it at full force <laughs> but just asleep enough that I'm getting ahead from, from the fucking new girl, right? So she's Wait, looking like – that's it's a TV show. show. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so she's sucking my dick, and I'm like, oh my God. And she's going hard on the paint, too. In the paint. She's spitting. She's fucking slapping it on her face and like exactly. kissing it. It's go- She's going wild, right? And then I was like, yeah, you're dreaming. And then I looked over, and there's a bookshelf, and I was like, holy shit. 
my dream is so vivid. I could feel this blowjob so good. And I was like, I wonder. And I was like, hold on one sec. And I saw everyone sucking my dick. And I grabbed a book. <laughs> and I was like, since I'm a dreaming, I'm going to open it. And the book will be real. This is going to be so crazy. <laughs> so wait, I, you did what I do? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I opened the book to read. Read a book instead of getting a blowjob. Because I was trying to test my dream. Like, will you will you put words in this book yeah. dream? And the dream was like, nope, you fucked it up. And I just went... <laughs> <laughs> and zoomed awake and i was like no i can't believe i ruined my blowjob you became uh, dude it sucked so bad i just, just i just unplugged myself from the matrix by <laughs> pushing my brain too far my brain was like i can give you blowjobs but i can't write a whole book for you dumbass <laughs> <laughs> it just like zoomed me out oh dude it sucks so bad i was so mad see i never even get to that point because i'm like i gotta go work on my eagle scout project <laughs> <laughs> sorry yeah, sorry yeah. babes <laughs> it's so fucking <laughs> dude, you want to have a threesome mac <laughs> no i have work <laughs> you go to work in your dream <laughs> i wouldn't work i wouldn't I, would, I always do like an extremely wholesome shit <laughs> it's so stupid I gotta teach kids how to read <laughs> do we have emails by do we have, do you have an email we, uh, do that. we do have an email while we have while we're thinking about it oh uh, do we do the email or should we sell out real quick oh well, let's sell out and then we'll do the email right the after email's pretty we got a few emails hey guys we're, we're selling out <laughs> we've made it this is why this episode is cowboy boys <laughs> jump the shark <laughs> we got sponsored hell yeah by yeah they make razors for your balls. Um, well, they make trimmers for your balls. And we discovered for your butthole. I mean, you could, wherever there's hair, I, I feel like they're, it's non discriminatory. I don't, their name, you, if you're a woman, you could shave with this thing. <laughs> yeah, listen. They gave us the, let's see what it's called. I'm, we're totally flubbing this. They want us to read. Yeah, it's an uh, ad read. Intro. People, we don't have to be, we don't have to pretend like play we're with not your doing balls, an ad read. Our sponsor's name we already said that uh balls are smooth partner playing with them for well, it's clean hygiene when it comes to shaving your balls hell yeah thanks to the lawnmower 3.0 they want us to say that the lawnmower 3.0 which by the way i tried to hurt my balls with and it was unsuccessful yeah have you ever cut your balls with Dude. like a uh, shape like i think we talked about this <laughs> where you're you're like hitting up a girl and she's just like Okay, I'm gonna come over today, and you're like, "Wait, what? I thought it was, it's Tuesday. I thought we were planning for something Friday." And so you got to shave your junk now. Oh, dude! And when you're in that rush, because it's like she's coming over in like an hour, you're like, "Okay, if I shave my balls right now, within 30 minutes, it'll I'll be dry. I got to shower, like clean up." Yeah, yeah. You always cut your balls when you're in that rush. So true, dude. And then you're like, oh, "I'm bleeding. Is she gonna notice?" I and cut my balls one time, and I've not shaved my balls since. <laughs> and I go. only did it because this one girl was just like, "I love balls." Because I was like, "What's?" Your, she was like, "What's your weird thing?" And I told her my weird thing, which I'm not going to say right now. And then, <laughs> well, <laughs> don't, don't yeah, don't say it during an ad read. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, that's exactly what's happening. But then she's like, "I like balls," and I was like, "Stop fucking with me." And she's like, "No, I'm being serious. Like, I want to play with them while I ride you. I like reverse cowgirl, so I can look at your balls. That's cool. I want your balls in my mouth. I want to do anyway. So, but I have, bro, you know me. Everything from the waist down is so hairy. Wait, I gotta read this is the only men's brand dedicated to below the waist grooming there you go dude. <laughs> there's so, one talking point down. so i fucking so she was all talking all the <laughs> shit anyway then she was like i'm gonna come over and i'm gonna suck your balls out of your body and i was like oh my god and um i shaved real quick and i cut my balls there you go and then and guess who let her suck on them anyway like a moron oh, and it was yeah. stung so bad see if you would have the lawnmower 3.0 we did i also did the same thing i was trying to like <laughs> Dude, i was holding it? they have like a weird plastic razor thing on it. it's 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 space age nasa technology <laughs> uh, dude you could send your balls to space with this technology well, i'm not gonna lie i did like it all it like felt like if i was using a normal metal on metal like razor it yeah. would have cut me when I was it like it like pinched me real quick. Not a bad pinch, like a little. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you also have that thick, coarse donkey hair. Yeah, it was shaving through that pretty. <laughs> Just cutting right through it. Let's see. Do not read. Host to talk about a funny manscaping story. You could talk about how you are now shaving your balls during quarantine or. How 
Is that, we already did that. Yeah, we did it, dude. We're um, on killing the ad read without even knowing the rules. Nice. By the way, we didn't read the <laughs> <laughs> we didn't read the rules before we started. Um, the ad. Forever changing, grooving game with their per- perfect package 3.0. Oh, that's what we got. We got, I think we got that big old box. It felt like I was getting opening an iPhone box it, for real. It was awesome. Um, I'm like, I'm. Do you know what's funny? And this is gonna sound like bullshit. But I for real almost bought the exact thing they sent us from an Instagram ad like a couple weeks ago <laughs> or two months ago. But then I broke up. And you were like, I don't need to shave. Yeah, and I was like, fuck my balls. I'm not having sex. <laughs> Here's the thing. You order this now by the time quarantine's over. Oh, dude, your balls will be smooth. Uh, perfect package. Comes with new and improved lawnmower 3.0. Waterproof. Cordless. A uh, bunch of liquid form- formulations to round out. I don't know what the oh, I didn't is like. put any of the the X. So we just use. I just lawn mowered my balls and my asshole and my gooch. Yeah. I didn't put any of the powders on my balls. They give you ball deodorant. Oh, here it is. Should I use it right now? It features a cutting edge ceramic blade. Oh to shit! Prevent manscaping accidents. So it's ceramic. That's scary. That's hella cool. I mean, it is science. Dude, it's fucking ceramic. science. It didn't cut me. Dick and ball science. Uh, inside, crop preserver, anti-chafing ball, deodorant, moisturizer. You're probably sit on the couch with your hands on your balls. Anyways, I do that. I do the Al Bundy. Yeah, me too. I'm literally <laughs> doing it right now. Um, I've got my hands on my balls as I talk into this mic. As eggs and smelling fresh. Eggs do not smell fresh. <laughs> that ass. <laughs> <take> that out. <laughs> Smooth as eggs and smelling fresh. No way. They smell like deviled eggs. Okay. Subscribe to a perfect package. Get the new replacement blade refill for your lawnmower trimmer delivered to your door every three months. I think that's the thing. Whoa, three months? So they, it lasts that long? Well, I'm saying the, the ceramic blade thing, the stuff that makes you not cut your balls, uh-huh. got to get replaced, which is cool. Yeah, yeah. I also trimmed around my shaft. For a limited time, subscribers get. Not one, but two free gifts. The shed travel bag. Oh, it's a big leather bag. Yeah, it's a it's a dop kit bag. Yeah, that's uh, and the patented high performance anti chafing <laughs> boxer briefs. I'm wearing those right now. They're pretty I nice. I'm also wearing. Are you really? Them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do you know how long I've been wearing them for three days? Damn. And they're still good, everybody. You can wear these for three days and they can't stop you. Oh, this is a good line. This is the perfect package for your perfect package. Hell yeah. I mean, this will stretch for our audience, but. All right. Uh, here's the part that matters. Get 20% off plus free shipping with the code COWBOYBOYS. Hell yeah. Dot com. Do yourself a favor and always use the right tools for the job. Uh, I don't get that line. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean the right tools for the job? They could have put in like a... No, this is a specific tool for your balls. I you don't want to use well, a saying, edge trimmer. I would have been like, get the right tool for your tool. Once, put in another joke in there. Well, oh, my God. Once I was going <laughs> to... But it's also an ad where they need Wait. to convey real information. Okay, this says call to action required. Get 20% off and free shipping with the code cowboyboys at dot com. That's 20% off with free shipping at dot com. Use code COWBOYBOYS. Make playing with your balls the best part of your day. Thanks. They made me say that. <laughs> <laughs> you made me say that. Thanks. I mean, it says required, but I am thankful. I Dude, do. I mean, truly, I love the Lawnmower 3.0. Here's the deal. Oh, yeah? Would you marry it? I would. It's Dude, firstly, <laughs> it's, it's gotten more action than who else? You know what they don't say in this? No one's eating my ass. The lawnmower 3.0 ate my ass and was a gentleman about it. They don't mention how quiet it is. Dude, that's one. Because you, I don't want you to know when I'm shaving my butthole. <laughs> you want it to surprise I me? I want to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, go to m***.com. <laughs> use our promo code, Cowboy Boys. I and... did shave it, but yeah, I um, it does at all. So, ladies, if you're looking oh, to yeah, shave women up your, your gooch, your butthole, or just like get around, you know what I like? I like when a girl still runs a bush, but she's just like, I just, I just shave it up. I just give it like a two, you know. I just yeah, throw yeah. like, I she gives it, her pussy as a crew cut. I like that. <laughs> yeah, you know, I like when she has like Brad Pitt hair from <laughs> Fury. All right, on oh. her pussy. Shave your pubes, Boys, everybody. you can just leave it all here. It's fine. No, everyone can do whatever I mean, trim want. around the shaft. All right. You want to read some emails? Yeah, let's fucking read some emails. Um, Hi. This is from Ashley. She's okay. RN. Whoa. 
Oh, she traveled to New Jersey for the COVID crisis response. Hell yeah. We've had a few nurses and like doctors be like, hey, your podcast is the only thing uh, helping me through like this whole thing. And Absolutely it's, wild. It, that feels like too much pressure. Yeah. <laughs> like, Mac has leveraged your messages to bully me into Patreon. <laughs> hey, that was, we're going to announce that at the end. <laughs> I recently found your podcast, uh, but you guys got me through a lot of isolation feels while I'm here by myself. Thanks for the laugh. Thank you for listening, Ashley. Um, she goes on. She's writing a paper, wants to ask some questions. Um, serious question before the fun question. Uh, Shane, I heard you mention a few times, your therapist, that you are able to have virtual visits. Was. Well, oh, <laughs> when I decided to travel here, I lost my therapist due to licensing issues across state lines. How does your therapist work? Or I guess how did talk it? space? Are you able? Oh, wait, is that an ad? We don't get we're not sponsored by that. It's not. But you just go online. If you just Google um, online therapy, it, it talk space is like the first one. Are you able to keep your appointments while you travel for work? Is it really? Expensive? Yes. Any information? Will be yes. Greatly, uh, so, yeah, you uh, you can still get therapy, though. My particular therapist what is. Did she die? She's specifically trained. No, but she's sick. Oh, and really? I, yeah, and I have no idea what's going on with her. So she could be dead. Damn. Wouldn't that be wild? If my therapist died, <laughs> that would be for real epic level Shane shit where it's like, yep, that's the life I, le- I lead. Definitely, for sure. Do you know um, Sarah Silverman was going to therapy when she was like a little kid and her therapist killed him, like shot himself in the head? At therapy? Not with her? at therapy oh, in front okay. of her. That would, be, that would be Shane level. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but no, like it's just one of those like comedian stories where Damn. Some, to tell someone else's story where they're just like, Why did you become a comedian? <laughs> <laughs> well, I was going to therapy and then my therapist killed themselves. <laughs> Hell yeah. Dude, that's a good one. So even who who so who therapizes the therapists? Do they therapists, go to other therapists? Are there are there therapists who specialize in therapists? I don't think so. Is there like a chain of command? Is there a one therapist at the top sitting oh on a mountain? Oh my mount- god, the super therapist sitting on a mountain just in a loincloth with clouds all around him. <laughs> people, people go talk to him, dude. That, my patients are just so dumb. <laughs> Is that what Buddha was? Um, so there's some questions. He has a lot of good questions. All um, right, let's get to the next ones. By the way, sorry I don't have like more information for you. I just went to Talkspace. I Googled it. I went to Talkspace. And from there, hey, I spoke to a bunch of people. I'm going to edit out their thing unless they give us money. Okay. They're, they're not going to give it. <laughs> yeah, You're going to blame. It just sounds like I'm saying the N word instead of Talkspace. <laughs> I wouldn't blame that. Hey, you can go to boop if you want to. <laughs> <laughs> just Google online therapy and you can find. I think you can text people and call people these days. Yeah. They probably even have Zoom bullshit video oh, dude, they have it all if you just google talk therapy online it's it's pretty findable um so uh okay questions i'm curious about would you rather explore space or the deep ocean both freak me out so i'm curious this goes in line with our cave question so so what's scarier to you before ocean or space because those are kind of similar is being underground in a cave scarier than being like in the middle of the ocean or in the middle of space um her question wasn't what's scarier Wait, what's... but it was which would you rather explore but her i space is scarier space is scarier. i think that floating off into the vast nothingness of space is oh, very sound... scary that to sounds me. so fun and soothing i hate it just so calming the episode of futurama where bender's just floating through space and tries to become god i fucking freaks me out i just the idea of just like sandra bullock just like spinning Isn't... off the planet in that one movie i was like fuck sandra no aren't there like some unnamed russian ad- cosmonauts who are like just orbiting floating the atmosphere no not even like orbiting just drifting like out into the distance probably every that we don't... every cosmonaut died right well i feel like there's a bunch of cosmonauts that they were like whatever happened to that guy and he's like he never existed and then people are like what <laughs> yeah 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 i think they actually supposedly russia actually sent a manned mission to the moon and then they just like floated away that's what i mean they just yeah, went yeah, out yeah. of the solar system <laughs> yep, yep. imagine like watching earth to just drift away fuck dude 200 f- i mean at one point during the first lunar landing um the two guys got in the lunar lander and they landed on the moon and that other guy circled the moon one time when he was on the back side of the moon away oh, from yeah. earth it was pitch black 
and he was the farthest human away from Earth in recorded history. Also, radio on the silence. the backside of the moon in radio silence by himself. Dude. We talked about that in oh, one episode. Oh, just thinking about that is so scary while Neil and Buzz were fucking. Yeah, he was also jacking <laughs> yeah, off. Yeah, yeah. Because no one can... Beating off. No <laughs> one can see me beat off to my weird thing. So you would rather explore the ocean i i'm more interested in the ocean she says and deep I'm, ocean i'm less scared of it and i'm more interested in it find all the creepy crawlies on the bottom i just feel like space is too vast i mean but if i could but if we're exploring space star trek style then yeah space see that's my hope is i like exploring space and getting shot in the middle of space and just drifting i have this weird fantasy same with if you ever seen the movie Gattaca, where the guy just wants to swim out into the ocean and just keep going until he can't <laughs> swim anymore. That sounds so appealing to me. I don't know what's up with me and like <laughs> holes and the ocean. I just like I want to go in there. And I, I just know what's sit. up with you in holes. Yeah, I just want to <laughs> swim out into the ocean. My space fantasy is I just want to get shot out into the distance and eventually die, and then millions of years from now some alien <laughs> finds my like uh body just perfectly preserved in space <laughs> floating and they're like hey what's up with this guy let's reactivate his soul <laughs> and put, they, <laughs> oh they bring my... me back to life and i'm just like oh my god <laughs> <laughs> that does sound cool that's not gonna happen in the ocean no it's not gonna the, here's the thing about the ocean you go down there and the crushing depths just squeeze you into nothing in an instant yeah but then all the I'm down the bottom creepy crawlies will just eat you Sure, whatever. Fuck it. I want to. I want to keep existing after I'm dead. <laughs> no way, my soul will go to Valhalla for being brave. Yeah, your soul will still go there, but your body. I want my body to be preserved. Nah, fuck my body. Burn it. I want to. That's how I really want to die. I want to be launched into space. Viking funeral in space. Whoa, <laughs> Halo style. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I want to. I want one of those cool sci-fi coffins that are just like yeah, a, yeah. Like a, they, they're all smooth and yeah, when steel. They, why do they like that? And these all salute, and then we just shoot you into the vacuum of space, and it's like, where does the space trash go? It's got to be orbiting somewhere. I like that you say Halo. Star Trek had the cool smooth space coffins, dude. I mean, I all feel Halo fiction did that. Halo has the angular, cool military coffins. <laughs> true, true, true. Uh, so there you go space let's see she also goes on she had a bunch of good questions uh does it matter what a girl's vagina looks like i'm gonna answer this no no they're all i just want to shove my face in there <laughs> someone True. a girl was like is it is like short labia long labia and it doesn't matter you could have labia that's long enough that i will think about it i'm like oh 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 but it, but like it'll just surprise me i'll still get in there doesn't matter what a vagina looks like if it's hairy if it's bald if it's why like they all look so appealing the only thing that might deter a guy is the smell <laughs> <laughs> yeah i was gonna and say i've never encountered a stinky one. Ooh, they're bad but if yeah, i they're... grew up in the trailer park i've run into <laughs> some dude i've run into some sa it's like sour so like you know when milk goes bad how you're like your body is just like don't drink it and you're like how do you know and your body's just like i know you know how like <laughs> yeah. you have to touch fire one time to be like <laughs> oh fuck fire's hot but you never need to drink milk like your body is just like dude we know that it's bad don't do it yeah. that's how bad pussy is your body's <laughs> oh, like man. don't when just you, don't it just knows right away yeah. thousands of years Tell of your evolution it's like Get away. Tell your dog, your partner to go with the witch doctor. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sometimes in porn, uh, has some like super clean little girl vaginas and long inner labia looking ones. They're both great. Just curious. Yeah, whatever. I mean, uh, just give a little scrub, like a little scrub, like how I wash my balls, <laughs> and you're good. Girls know what to do. Yeah, they know. They probably know more than me. Usually, if you smell, it's your pH balance or something's off, is what I'm told. Because I've gone down on girls where they were like, they didn't smell bad, but then they tasted kind of funny. What? Yeah, and then later they I like tasted. asked a doctor about it, who was a gynecologist, and she and I was actually going on a date with her, and we were talking about shit Damn, like that. You were she, dating a lady gynecologist, dude. I've, Did you have sex with her? I've had sex with multiple doctors, and it's why no joke have a weird thing about doctors now. <laughs> did, did I you realize that doctors are human? <laughs> yes. No, I did, and it's really unfortunate, dude. The idea that a doctor, a medical professional, would let me fuck them is mind blowing did i ever tell you that a doctor in utah let me take her virginity that's pretty cool dude it was firstly it's the only time i know of that i was aware i was taking someone's virginity when it happened <laughs> all right and um 
And uh, she like made a whole thing of it. She's like, you want to come over and take my virginity? And she was like 26. Did she like candles? She left the church after she became the Mormon church. Full law, yeah, the more of uh, the Mormon church after she became a doctor. No, it was like on a whim. She just messaged me in the middle of the night because we had been on dates. And then she's like, I don't think I want to have sex. And I was like, oh, I don't want to date anyone I can't have sex with. But I appreciate how fun you've been. We can be friends. Yeah, yeah. And then we, and then one day she was like, I'm really tired from work. She worked at Primary Children's Hospital. And she's like, it's oh. been brutal. And I just want to feel good. And I'm tired of fucking being like a little girl. I'll come over and make me a woman. And I was like, holy shit. <laughs> and I was like, are you sure? Just like right now? Like no ceremony? Yeah, you always got to ask. Like, uh... Dude, I kept <laughs> asking probably so much that it was annoying to her but i just came over and she was like wearing her like little pajamas and she just got naked in front of me and was standing there like well you gonna get naked too and i was like i get you know i that's just so that's such like a virginity story oh, like the yeah. first time you're like what, what do we do <laughs> like i've seen porn but uh i think <laughs> Dude, anyway while i was fucking her she was like riding me and she was like i would never have graduated medical school if i discovered fucking before <laughs> this and i was like whoa cool and i fucked her. i like fucked her brains out for like two weeks straight and sounds then, like and she then, did life right dude and then she got busy at work and i didn't really want to date her and she didn't want to date me but we stayed friends for a long time i like lost contact with her i wonder if she what if she listens to this please message me if you do and just <laughs> tell me how you're doing she's probably <laughs> married by now she's got to be like as old she's as old as me so good for her yeah um yeah doctors gotta fuck too dude i don't like it i don't like that doctors firemen fuck police officers firemen can fuck me a police officer can whatever. I what, you wouldn't fuck a lady police officer? No, I would fuck she got a the lady handcuffs. police officer. She's got a gun. I fucked a lady <laughs> corrections officer. Yeah, she doesn't have a gun. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't have the power of a police officer. <laughs> They're always. Why is it that lady police officers are, are always like some uh, short Hispanic lady who's so sexy? <laughs> oh, dude. They're so mean, though. <laughs> yeah, there's like ex-military. They're what's just... the we- What's the profession where you'd be like, wait a minute? <laughs> mm, that I wouldn't like have sex with yeah yeah what about i think a nuclear scientist no <laughs> you just that's, like, what if you wake up and your no. hair is falling out you're like oh no your pussy's radioactive <laughs> that would be cool oh, oh okay think about her bald pussy oh. <laughs> I, I think it's the chemo from radiation from like cancer from radiation <laughs> oh, okay. that makes you <laughs> it's not the actual radiation um I, I feel like if any woman had like if any person has a profession that only like the higher rank the profession is in society, that makes them only more sex appealable. So, like, Angela Merkel, I want to fuck her true, <laughs> because true. she's so high on the world scare scale. That doesn't make me want to fuck her less because she's so important. You know, it's so funny. All the girls we know that are, like, famous or rich are always complaining that guys are, like, intimidated by them. They're no, like, I, I can't even have sex with guys because they're weirded out that I have money. And I like, want a millionaire cool, girlfriend dude, <laughs> to take care of me. I know. I can't <laughs> believe, guys. I can't believe dudes dude. are like, I feel cucked by your success. Dude. It's like, dude, get your success over here and suck my dick <laughs> yeah <laughs> please Dude. i'm i'm sad <laughs> but in line in line with the like what do vaginas look like if you are a girl in a trailer park and i'm into you i'm into you if you're a homeless chick and i'm into you i'm into you no, if you're a so world true. leader and i'm into you you make me laugh you're fun to hang out with you know what i've realized it. about myself i have no control over if i have like the thing i have with someone if you have the special the special spark the special sauce i just look yeah, but, at you and i either have it or i don't and there's absolutely 100 percent nothing i can do to manufacture it or fight it mm. so i could get it for, i really could just look at a homeless woman and be like uh-oh i am into this homeless woman 100 percent, and you there's could, nothing i can do to stop it you, you could save her <laughs> well i don't even know if i would think that i would just be like well i'm gonna get hurt <laughs> <laughs> like physically like she's gonna stab both. you with her shiv yes, both <laughs> What her more? Her breaking up with you or getting <laughs> getting the needle in your back? <laughs> <laughs> um. So then, her this I think we already answered this. Her last question is: Could you date a girl that was so unbelievably hot and perfect in every way, but she bit her toenails? It's like, yeah, what? That's what your, the fuck? You're ten and you bite your toenails? Get out of here! It's almost it's just quirky. It's almost endearing. I feel like the she's she let, included a picture. She's really cute. Let me see. Oh, she is cute. Look so. at you go. Do you? But oh, here's the thing: this chick bites her toenails, right? Yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> like uh, you bite your toenails. We know you do. So it's just like, yeah, guys, we don't. 
Dude, I mean, I've dated girls with way with drug problems. <laughs> That's I, one of the ones where you got to take a step back, dude. I dated a girl who I like. Also, it depends on the drug. If you're like uh, addicted to weed, I'm like, okay, we can work with that. Oh, yeah, <laughs> if yeah. you if you do like meth every now and then, ah, we can work with that. Just make sure your teeth don't fall out, or make sure they all fall out. <laughs> Whoa, dude! But I, like. I remember specifically dating one of my exes and literally seeing things she was doing and being like, oh, fuck. She cares about her friends more than she cares about me. Like, oh, no, she she used me for money right here and still being like, eh, she, but I like her. Yeah, that's it, what... it's just like no red flag can stop me. The, I'm a fucking idiot. The chemicals in your brain. They, they, <laughs> your I, brain does what it wants. Dude, I wrestled. I will give myself credit. I wrestled those chemicals down and shot them in the head and escaped. But still, fucking, you yeah. can only push a man so far. You can, yeah, yeah. But it's <laughs> toenails, fucking please. Yeah, I don't care if she, if she was so, in her words, so unbelievably hot and perfect. Now, if it was like someone I wasn't into and they're biting their toenails, I'd be like, ew, what are you doing? <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. There's like uh, just like if I'm not into you and your pussy's long, I'll be like, why have a long pussy? If I'm not into you and your pussy's short, I'll be like, why have a short pussy? What is like, a short just, pussy? <laughs> if I'm not into you, I'm gonna have questions about everything that's going on. Yeah, you're gonna make fun of them. Yeah, yeah. Look, there's like I think I've um, you've seen how um so specific and like picky I am with girls. There will be ten out of ten girls who I'm just like, oh, you're annoying. I'm gonna roast your perfect face now. Oh, dude, <laughs> and I just make fun of what? Look at your eyes; they're a little too far apart. I love that. <laughs> I will say that nothing makes me happier than when a girl's like a ten of ten hot. But then I'm like, oh, I hate her. So now <laughs> I get to like rip on her because it's almost a challenge. Like, what do I gotta do? Not that I'm like ripping on her to her face, unless she was a comic, then I totally would. Or if she was being mean to you. Or she's being mean to, which or I've been the known who, to be mean back. The people who come for you in your comment section, <laughs> dude. Though, what was that one girl before I dated my last, uh, the last girl I dated? Um, I was hanging out. I was like talking to this like supermodel chick on Instagram, and she was like. Uh, all into me and then i nice, i was like hey brag. i don't want to yeah whatever she's like <laughs> listen it's just a reality she's a supermodel the, the reality the situation is she was wildly hot and she was very popular online and then i was like oh i'm not gonna i was like so sorry i'm actually dating someone now and she's like are you dating the girl with the pussy jokes and i was like yeah and you fucking and by the way your hair you have like fucking a giant forehead and you're not like, <laughs> told that i was just like mean to her and i was like that was awesome <laughs> yeah. just saying things that aren't even real but just to be mean your lips look like someone fucking drew them on like well nagging doesn't work in either direction for male to women well i guess it does work but it's not it doesn't not feel good me. not on me I don't nag people yeah it's the worst unless that's your kink yeah 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 i was gonna say <laughs> It's like dudes who are into getting shamed, so they send a picture of their dick, and then you publicly shame them, and they're just like, yeah! <laughs> it's their weird thing. What's your weird thing, Mac? My weird thing? Have I not talked about it before? Uh, we'll save it for the Patreon. <laughs> oh, no, you have to talk about it now. I was going to talk about my weird thing, because I mentioned it earlier, and no. I don't want to edge everybody. We should, we should tease edging it. edging is my weird thing. Um, well, we'll, pull, we'll lock your weird thing behind a Patreon wall. I'll say my weird thing to intrigue everyone. And then I, we just had, cut off the episode right there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I had this recovered memory of the first time I ever realized I had a very specific and weird kink. And I know I've said that I'm very vanilla on the podcast before, but I, I did realize that I'm into one thing very specifically and end podcast. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I, was, I, I was reminded that uh, I was like, when I was like 19 years old, some girl sent, I used to have a T-Mobile sidekick. And you could, like, send video. It was the first time I was, like, sending videos back and forth on a phone. And I was like, this rules. I got to get girls to send me sexy videos, right? <sighs> Those. Here's a weird, just a side note. Um, do you remember that, uh, what's her name? Like, Heather something blowjob queen? Yeah. She's coming back. What? She announced on Twitter. She started a Twitter. And she's still, she's like a MILF now. Oh, what's her name? I saw someone posting. People are losing their mind. She's like, she's back. She's making videos. She's re-uploading all of her old 90s like VHS filmed videos, POV, to like they're upscaling them to 4, 4K Whoa. HD. Her website's coming back. I need to find her. Heather something. I bet if you just type her name, Heather Blowjob, it comes up. 
the queen of Kazaa back in the day. <laughs> <laughs> queen of Kazaa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember downloading videos. Yeah, Heather yeah, Brooke. Yeah. Heather she's, Brooke. She's, she's back, baby. <laughs> Just throwing it, slinging that dude. throat, dude. And that, here's the thing. I think she, we've girls have asked this before. If you want to see how it's done at that, this is the Michael Jordan of blowjobs. <laughs> yeah, dude, she is inv- Heather Brooke. She literally invented the term. Like, if you want to get that throat coat, like <laughs> she's the woman who is. You're like, oh, and look, okay. If you can't do what she does, it's That's n- fine. It's fine. Just try. <laughs> just, just try. It, but we understand that she she's a gift from God. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> she was dude. born with these natural talents. Anyways, your kink. I just had. To, oh I had to, yeah, yeah, I forgot that she's back. So this girl. Said- oh wait, my whole point, my side thing was. My one of my side things I'm into is like weird that '90s nostalgia film. Oh. I want we should make a porn company where we just film on V like HD new porn with new actresses, but it just has that VHS filter on it. Oh my god, <laughs> dude! Have you ever looked up you, the other day? I was like, I want to jack off to someone I used to jack off to when I was a kid, and I looked them up and they were dead. I was like, yeah. oh fuck. Have we, dude? One of my favorite like YouTube holes. So brutal. Google dead porn star tributes. Oh, it's, it's really so sad. funny. <laughs> it's there's like, it's there's like brutal. ten minutes. There's like these videos that go on forever that just show pictures of old porn. They they get brutally murdered more often than you think. <laughs> <laughs> they like drug overdoses, and it, there's like you gotta find Sex the videos. Work is dangerous. You gotta find the videos where they sh- say how they died. Oh, it's so it's wild. So wild. <laughs> it just goes and. You'll see like 200 deaths on a single video of just real like drug overdose, <laughs> drug overdose, stabbing. Like, and you're like, damn, what the fuck? Dude. <laughs> Dan- dangerous industry. Oh I thought Heather Harmon was dead. La- by the way, we're <laughs> laughing at how absurd it is, not like. I, I know. That's all I laugh at. I know. Anyway, I just want people to be like, would they specifically just think it's funny when ports are sigh? No. August Ames was a tragedy. Okay. That was a conspiracy. Oh, yeah. But I'm just saying, <laughs> it's a tragedy that porn stars die. But if someone, listen, if it, someone think about out it there... this way. If someone was like, here's all the, here's a treat to all the elephant trainers who died, you'd be like, why the fuck are there 200 elephant trainers and why are so many of them doing drugs? Like, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's like, like, you think more of them would get trampled to death. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but... It's wild. So, no, anyway. It, it is funny that someone went out and made there's tons of these videos yeah. if someone was just like this is my mime tribute death video yeah. you're like what the fuck that's this level we're on it's just something you don't know exists yeah hey, so, look, i like to laugh at everything so uh, i had a t-mobile sidekick and i asked this girl <laughs> for a video and she was like we were sending videos back and forth and then one day randomly she sent me a funny video of her brushing her teeth oh no and then she was <laughs> pretending to give the 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 um the toothbrush a blowjob like gag like pretend gagging and stuff and it was like all messy and like the toothpaste was like running out of her mouth and it was like really drooly and she was trying to gross me out but then my 19 year old brain was like "Uh uh-oh so you're you're into this you're into sloppy toppy (laughs) dude well yeah i'm into sloppy toppy but more specifically i'm just into like mouths drool spit like tongues like just the mouth like okay how far can we take this like instead uh, of a instead of nudes, I would like to see a girl like do that brushing teeth video. Okay, that's hotter than a nude to me. Emetophobia trigger warning. Have you seen those Japanese videos where they're vomiting onto? Oh, yeah, is that too that's far. Gross. That's too far. So there's a hard line somewhere. There's a very hard line. If it's spit, you're good. Yeah, yeah. It has to be like if drool and stuff. If it's like I remember once a girl, and then so I kind of ignored that. I was like, "That's not a fetish." I yeah, I'm gonna watch this video and jack off to it a lot until my T-Mobile sidekick breaks at a show. But I, <laughs> <laughs> which is what happened. That was the but, coolest. But then fun. I was like, "I'll let that go. I'll let that go." And then once a girl was like riding me, and she was coming, and then she like was like not in control of her faculties, and she ended up drooling all over me while she was like riding me and i immediately just busted like like the heart and i was just like oh yeah i'm what very if, specifically into this what if a girl was uh, like on top of you riding you and doing that like have her spit like falling down and like sucking it back up like a bully hot, holding yes, you down that's hot Ew. yeah i know it's really gross i remember the first time a girl spit on my dick porn star style i was just like wow this is there it is hard this is awesome so get, anyway you're gonna get so many guys sending you videos of oh, them dude, spitting. So gross. <laughs> <laughs> anyway that was my weird thing and then i realized it was my weird thing and um i often don't i like i didn't even think i told my ex about it 
because uh, here's the thing it's hard to bring up your weird thing it will it's also it's not even hard to bring up your weird thing i think my weird thing specifically needs a girl to be so slutty that she's already like i was gonna spit on your dick either way you don't want to ask for your weird thing yeah you want it to just happen in the wild i don't know how to explain it it has to come naturally to you Here's if you're thing. forcing it, I can tell and it's not hot. If you're asking for a blowjob on your birthday, it's not as special as a no. surprise blowjob exactly. on your birthday. Because yes. you're like, oh, you're just doing this because it's my birthday. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. You get it. Uh, I, another one of my sub things or my sub things I'm into, I've mm-hmm. just remembered. You ever looking at old, you ever looking at porn and you're like, wait a minute. That's an old razor phone, <laughs> like oh, selfie, yeah, yeah, yeah. like someone taking your life. Damn, is she dead? <laughs> You're seeing like old nudes from like the two thousands. Yeah, it's so it's so wild and fun, dude. Yeah, that shit is crazy. Um, hey everyone, uh, go watch me on Twitch, Twitch T. Oh, are we <laughs> Twitch TV slash Shadozer? Um, I stream video games, and also I'm thinking about doing a fun thing where uh, I stole this idea from a post on Twitter where I want to have a bunch of comedians uh, do a table reading of a fucking movie and we're all going to goof off and have a good time. So that's something we'll do. Maybe I'll have Mac be in the movie. Uh, it'll be a popular movie, uh, you know, and we're going to have them do it, uh, the lines by memory probably. So they'll fuck it up and it'll be real fun and silly. Uh, Twitch TV, twitch.tv slash shadozer. And then uh, follow us online. Any, you got anything to plug? Uh, yeah. There's so you're doing Twitch stuff now. Yup. I should start a Twitch <laughs> to compete with yours. Yeah. Um, if you want to only stream when I stream. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at the same time. <laughs> um, like we like we said, uh, we sold out. We're we're getting that in paper. Uh, use our co- our code cowboyboys at dot com, and you can get twenty percent off with free shipping for that. Perfect package 3.0. That shit's pretty cool. Uh, you can go to our website, cowboyboys.rodeo. All of our stuff's there. We have an Amazon link that if you use, it will send us some Skrilla back. Jeff Bezos, our lord and savior, Hell saving yeah. us. Praise, ba- praise Bez. Um, we support every evil thing he's done. <laughs> and he supports every evil thing we've done. Um, and we are launching a Patreon for all the people who have been asking us. <laughs> What? I've gotten at least two DMs. <laughs> I'm excited to see what happens with it. Uh, when we are Patreon, if you go to patreon.com slash cowboy boys, you will get an extra full hour of the cowboy boys every week. Woo! No, oh, I think that's five bucks a month. or The minimum or... five or as much as you want to give. If you can give more, listen, we're not telling you to, but it would be appreciated because... Uh, whatever. We would like to do this for a living. Yeah. But yeah. for five dollars minimum, you get four extra episodes a month. Yeah, I think that's a pretty sick deal. That breaks down to a dollar twenty-five an hour. An, you're an paying ep- an hour. Damn, what, we should raise that. <laughs> what are we doing? Wait a minute. <laughs> yeah. Five dollars. So, uh, that's cool. What's the Patreon link? I just said it. patreoncom slash boys. Oh wow, so easy. Um, <sighs> you didn't mark it as an adult content, did you? patreon do i need to no you need to not do that if you do that it insinuates that we have porn or oh like no gore, yeah i think it asked me and then it hides you from everyone i think it asked me and i was just like it asked if you're like posting porn I'm yeah like, yeah not yet <laughs> <laughs> but no we are not it's just you can't this isn't an adult content we're just it's radio you can say anything on the radio yeah dude it's whatever i mean we assume everyone's an adult some of our audience is not adults and it's yeah stop listening yeah. now <laughs> oh, get out of here <laughs> calling the cops all right um should we go record patreon right now yeah all right um, all right everyone email us cowboy boys or cowboyboyspodcast.com <laughs> I gave out our secret, email, our secret email that we never check uh, use our website hit us up That's all. oh hey that's someone it. sent us photos of their boobs and a video and they're very good yeah we got a few of those did we? <laughs> yeah I check the email more, more. I, god damn it anyway listen I saw your boobs 
and they were very good and the video was great videos are top tier wow so good oh oh and someone who sent us nudes before sent us new nudes no i was gonna say there was a really cool tattoo there was that guy who sent us a picture of his ass and he was wearing a cowboy hat oh hell yeah that (laughs) guy rules too (laughs) so three nudes there's three nudes i saw and they were all fucking awesome and also someone sent a dog right oh we get plenty of there's someone sent us a picture of the cat oh hell yeah i remember the cat tons of dogs yeah yeah so loving your pets Loving your bee holes, loving your titties, <laughs> and love your tattoos. Love You're very your, hot. Love your good questions. Yeah, yeah, and your good questions. Wow. You're killing it in the emails, everybody. Proud of you. All right, let's fucking go record Patreon. Hey, uh, sub to our Patreon. It's just five bucks and it would mean a lot to us. Oh, that's what I was gonna say. If you Ugh. listen if you listen as a couple, you gotta go you gotta pay the, the higher amount. Yeah, it's yeah. Two of you. Or don't. We, you can't, we can't steal with your ears. <laughs> we, can't, we can't verify. <laughs> we, we can't stop you. All right, everyone. Uh, ye fucking haw. Yeehaw.